Welcome back to my channel. Um, so yeah, it's voice reveal time. Well, I kind of did it yesterday, but just to show you, I cut it off. But yeah, here's my voice. Sorry for stutter. I'm just well, that's just me in real life. I stutter a lot. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, um, so basically, you know what intro and how it has like, a nice, like, cool animation of me, uh, like. Got wave my hand on that laptop and stuff. Well, I'll be teaching you how to do that, and if you don't know what it looks like, watch my intro then. I mean, it's there. Or you watch my outro, I mean, it's there as well. Um, so, yeah, I'll be teaching you how to do that. So, I'll teach you how to animate it, and yeah. So, let's get into it. Uh, I've made some new merch on the group, so, um, pop up a picture of the group and the picture and stuff. You know, shit. I think the shirt's looks pretty cool, so I think you should buy it. Uh, not the one I, I'm wearing on the Roblox, because that one is expensive, because of a joke. Um, but you can buy the one which only costs, costs 10 Robux, which, uh, that's about 12, uh, pence, like, where I am, but, um, not sure about you guys. Before we get actually down to it, uh, I made an Instagram post, follow me on my Instagram, um, xd. Um, epic plug. I don't need to plug it on like with editing because I already have it here. I post a lot of Anix memes because I'm addicted to him. Anix, please notice, notice me, senpai. Oh, oh yeah, that's actually that's shit. Like yeah, look, shit. Very nice. So, uh, these are my two cats, but you will look on this one. So, my cat Ello, she's very bored. She um look, because she's very sad and lonely. Coronavirus. So, only one person replied. Oh. Uh, uh, Rainbow. Yes. We're gonna copy that name and put our show in the Get uh, Robot Studios up and go to base plate because it's easier. You don't need any of these. You just want base plate if you really want to. I don't know why, but get flat train if you want. But I recommend base plate. Uh, you want to load character? I'll put the plugin in the description in the section of tools. So, um, yep. Check it out, and you want to insert your name, the walk name or anything, but I want to put uh, this person in because I did that post. So, uh, Mr. Rainbow, nice up top, then at mine because mine is dumb. <laughs> Spawner Oregon got this checked off, so it's an X there, and Spawner R6, not R15 because they have wrong the texture. We start, we also want like some sort of background. So uh, if you're going to oops, sorry, uh toolbox and then we can look on any models, so actually uh we could do just like her holding ice cream and then we could do like a plain background. So if we do get an ice cream because she has the right hands for it, uh Okay, which high school looks nice? I think what would suit her was would, would be um, this ice cream. This looks epic. Okay, so once you got that, uh, we want this to be separate model models ideally, but actually no, we don't need to do that. We don't have to be separate models. And um, alright, before we do move on, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be lazy and um, you see the body type. This will be changed to the 2.0, which let me show you what it looks like. Um, if I do, uh, where is it? Alright, basically, the 2.0, what I'm talking about is if I just get my name in. So, oh, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, my, as you cannot see actually, um, you just put it in. You see, it's a blocky fat guy. Uh, oh, here's a new shirt you should probably buy on the group. Uh, it's got some, like, 
aesthetic things because I know you guys like aesthetic so um yeah it looks nice um oh thank you I'll probably put the her link in the description there's a PS person who um taught me how to do it on video so yeah thanks I'm gonna make a body type more blocky because I'm lazy I don't want to get the rig but yeah reflect uh both of you guys so select both of them uh you might want to press on one of them and then control hold control and click on the other one on this explorer export selections and then you want to export it to save it to my i'll make it a new folder for it open uh, boom all right now this should be saved so then we can move on to blender which i already got up and by the way um Yes, I like anime, you probably realize from like all of this. And uh, if you like this desktop, um, your game. Hey guys, okay, so if you cried watching Anohana and, and, and if you're a gamer, you watch Weave a, a, anime, then like right now and subscribe and um, uh, follow all my. Uh, like things like Discord and um Instagram and um um Twitter um it, it link description. Okay, bye. <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I would start. You have this on. All you have to do just click this. Then um press uh click on the square. Press X and then delete. Before we start, I actually of course before and then we didn't realise I did this. One new want to go into uh which one was it? This one, this is render properties. You want ambient occlusion so ambient occlusions, yeah some. And then uh blue one. Oops, my phone off, it's just my uh properties. Don't remember that. Um so we want those uh checked. Then you want to go to open, uh, don't save, and you should have done this already. Link into, um, I'll put the link in the description. This will be for all the big types, so I will be using the blocky one today, but then uh, this one should be using, like, you know, the, the girl woman one, but I'm too lazy to get it. But yeah, link in the description, I'll try to find another one. Break. so I already got. So you have to go to. Oh, I want a skin, but no, that's cut. Um, so I save it to a de desktop. It's quite easier, so you can do that if you want. Then, oh, by the way, I recommend uh, saving your uh, things into a folder so it's not met, like all everywhere. Anyways, once you go to your rig, uh, Roblox rig, rig, uh, there we type A or B. I would do type A, and then. Uh, faceless blend. Yeah, you want your faceless blend. Just so you know the face. I'll show you the face. Actually, no, I won't because it's actually kind of creepy. Um, you probably can see other robots animations. Once you've done that, you should have uh, this little guy. You got your body type. Uh, once you've done that, I just want to check something. All right, now mind. Alright, so you've now got to this part, what do you do next? You want to import, like I said, import, then wavefront.obj. Now import your, uh, your body type and, like, this one. So you want to import your model. So I've got also rainbow, rainbow. You, want, you don't want to do uh, MLT, you want to do obj. And before we do this, you want to go to a geometry. If you can't see this bar, just press N, and then you should. Here, then split by group. Now, once we just do this, we've got um, crystal rainbow. So, what we have to do is just move it forward. And there we go, we've got crystal rainbow. Yippee! Um, I actually should take some tips on that because I've actually learned a lot, lot since making the intro. I think I should update it, but I'm too lazy to. But, um, okay, yeah, it is. So, uh, this ice cream can move to the side. So, uh, we 
Now, we want to take off the torso, we want to take off your the arms, limb by limb, as she bleeds out, out and okay. I'm too dark, I'm sorry. Um until she has the head part, so all the hats and stuff that attached to the head. Okay, now you've done that, we want to take one part of your rig, so I'm gonna take the torso. <coughs> sorry, don't call about some cars. Then, you see this? You should have this like mark. It looks like when you have those gun games and there's got the check mark. Or you can play Minecraft where those X, um, what they're called. Then, once you see that, drag down, you should get another panel. Now, over here, you want to press, um, shader editor. Then you get to this section. Now, you want to go to, uh, these orange parts. This should, uh, say texture. There's two of them, but it doesn't really matter which one you take. Now, press on the folder and then go to your crystal rainbow and press uh, the crystal rainbow PNG texture. Now, you see, it has been put onto the crystal rainbow. I'm surprised it oh, I forgot to say, uh, um, <coughs> pardon me, you gotta delete that head because you don't need that there. Now, you see, this is a different uh, side because. Here's going down here. Now all you have to do, uh, actually before you do that, you need to put in the hair, the like every part of the head, and uh, by clicking it, you can hold shift and clicking on the parts. Now once you've got that, just, uh, hold control and then press J, and it's all going to be part in one into one little bit. Then uh, I recommend right clicking on it, um, set origin, and then. Uh, join, sorry, always look to geometry. So it's done a lot. Oh, actually, I've got to say, uh, to move around, uh, to do this, or hold the middle button on your mouse, uh, to, oh, oh no. And what, what I recommend though, is hold a shift, and then there's a button by one, uh, I put it on like a screen, it's like a, like a weird uh, line. Then, click on that, then you can move around. But you see it's really slow, hold shift, whoa, you move around with uh, WSD and turn, using your mouse to tilt up and stuff, you know. If you want to get into this, out of this mode, all you have to do is click, and you're out. Now, um, to rotate this, I would do this normally, but sometimes it's inaccurate. So, first thing to do is go into uh, this uh, menu, it should be on item, so, rotation. I think it said I'm gonna press the one right 180. Now uh, now it's facing the right way. What we have to do uh, then is just drag it um, with the move right here and move it so I think it's fine. Uh, yep. Right. Now you have got this. Uh, before we move on, I'm going to say I won't be rendering the animation as it will take too long, but I'll show you the animation in um, the nice, um, in, like, shaman and stuff. But it won't be at the top of the shaman and stuff. The picture, I will, make, I will try to make an image for you just so it redeems myself, you know. Okay, now you've got uh, ice cream. I think it may be a bit small, so I'm gonna scale it up just a bit. Um, actually, I'd rather use this. Uh, scale 1.2 for each, maybe. And. Okay, now you've got a big fat ice cream that she will like to eat. Ice cream is yucky, except for girls, and the girls love ice cream. Now, uh, you want to get a background, so as you want to go to mesh, and then since we're doing like a plain background, nothing special, just go to plain. Then, uh, move that back until it's thin, uh, far enough, uh, so we don't interfere with it. Rotate it enough, so. I'll put an angle so we have a bit of a like ground as well. Uh, enough so we won't see any gaps. So. Okay. Our camera should be here so we should be fine. Uh, I wouldn't take the colors. But I think white 
like looks good. Oh, um, so yeah, actually. So, um, I would st I'm gonna start with showing the picture, then I'll show you how to animate with this. So, uh, just move around using uh, this, you know. Uh, but with the actual arm movements, you want to pick on these like boxes because this will actually have like a nice like rotation with the limbs, so it looks more like an R15 nice movement. I'd uh, if I would be able to show you, that'd be great. There you go. See, look, she's just gonna, like yeah, that. You know, just go. Like, it's not like a monkey, that one meme with a kid. I forgot what it's called, but um, I'm gonna put it on the screen. So, yeah, I'm gonna animate this and I'll be back shortly, so you'll see this little montage. So now we've just uh, resulted with this. So we've got like her just eating more ice cream. Well, not eating it because you eat ice cream. Uh, except you're from your meme, which you just get ice cream and you just. <laughs> and just like, you know, give yourself like teeth damage. It hurts. But if you want to see what it kind of looks like, you can uh, use this. And before we actually uh, move on to uh, making this into an actual image. And you show you uh, something that might be important. So, uh, oh, actually, we'll have to show you something else important because it may be needed. Uh oh, I have a problem with Blender. Responding. Okay. So, to go into this part, this is also where you uh, change like the light path, light paths, and stuff. You know, like, like ambient stuff. Now you should go render engine. Engine. Sorry about that. Um, you want to change that to Eevee or Cycles, that's what I recommend. Eevee is more smooth and sometimes like helps a lot because you saw in like my intro and outro, it does mess with the hair a bit, but I think that looks okay with me. Um, but if you don't go okay with it, you might want to use Eevee. Uh, cycles, okay, it's like I have all these black dots, but as you can see, it does make a nice but you can see it does make some parts invisible so what I'm going to do is use Eevee uh, if, you, it's, if your uh, place is too dark when you press this part this is actually how to render it properly uh, this is uh, this. So you want to go further than this if it's too dark you might want to add lights by pressing add and then lights and then you might, I recommend you use the sun but right now I'm fine. Actually, um, I can make it a bit cool. So, um, this. Oh, you see how nice it looks now? I didn't realize that my building and your album wasn't on. So, uh, I think after that, after you can like, open and put your rigging. So this is without, uh, this is without blue, this is with blue. I think blue looks really nice. So I'm gonna use blue, but obviously I'm gonna use Uh, I mean, uh, this adds shadow and actually, like, prefers to white better. So yeah, this is my, um, little, uh, finish. So, I don't know why, but for some reason I can't save it into my folder, but if you wanna save it, you want to go to output options, which is this one. Output, uh, if it's not open, what do is click on it. So now it's open. Um, then you want to uh, press on this and then choose a file. So I'm going to save it to um, across the rainbow file. Except, um, 
I mean, I don't know why, because I didn't press image. So, if you guys want to see the image, I'm going to do a uh, JPEG because I think it looks better. Then, uh, before you render it, you haven't actually chosen which position you want it to be in. So, I would, uh, so you need to get a camera. Then there will be camera dressing here. Press this. And use the same functions to move around to move around on this. Now, uh, to move around a bit. I want it to just be on my camera. So, I'll put it like here. And to make it look a bit better, just gonna uh, go out of camera mode like that. And the camera will be here. I'm just gonna make the uh, person just face a bit more to the camera. Now, see, that looks perfect, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, now I've got an image. If you want black and white for some reason, just press BW, but I want it up uh, like, with colour, so I'd be uh, 100% quality because, you know, quality, it's, it's good. This is also the reason why my videos are trash. Lack of quality. Um, now you've got to finish the result. All you have to do is press render. Uh, I can probably do that. Let me just check if I've got everything. Yeah. So, press uh, render. Render image. And then it's rendered. So I'll leave it here. And let you come along with it. So I'll do that shortly. But yeah, look at that, it's nice isn't it? So, here's the first result, and it, it should be uh, saved into your folder, so... Uh, I just, uh, it might be this part out, but... Okay, now here, so this top, here's the rainbow, and it should be... I don't know why it's not saving. I'll try for now and just like try it in. But if you can't save it, what I'll do, uh, just type in snip. I, I can't find any other way. So, I think you might be able to do a window. Um, can't do that. So, um, let's go do a rectangle snip and rectangular. Sorry, I'm just snip it like that. Um, I hope it's still recording. Um, yeah, but I just snipped it. And any person who knows how to make images and renders, please uh, say in the description or in your comment. Just. Just tell me in the description how to actually render this into your folder because for some reason this won't render. Um, but you know, this looks right. So actually, I'm gonna, uh, gonna save that to the folder, and I'll send this to Crystal Rainbow as you know, she's uh, she's the only person who responds. So you know, good job at responding. No one else can. Because no one knows my um, Instagram. Hey, have you actually thought about um, doing my Discord? Uh, Discord? Well, you should join my Discord, but I'm talking about my Instagram. And uh, maybe my Twitter. I don't know. Uh, links are in, always in the description. Except all those bad videos which I don't do in the description. Maybe. Um, desktop. Let's do Crystal Mindball. Okay. I'm just gonna do this with rainbow because I'm lazy, lazy. Just that. Okay, so now you've got this. Uh, animation not to save, just... Okay, so for the animation... Uh... So, you wanna start with, uh, the poses? Um... Okay, now you just, uh, move around the camera. Uh, 
get every part into um, you know so i'm only going to do a basic animation which is the uh, moving head up and down no no actually i'm just going to do the ice cream ball in our hand because i'm lazy and i can't bother to do full animation i might be able to render this i'm not sure it takes really long to render for some reason okay so you want to press press on it so, um, press on it uh, press i and then lock lock scale this will uh, open up uh, like keyframes or animation so you want to pull this up it should be on the bottom and then um, go to your separate frames and uh, make it animated by just like you know moving it on stuff then press an i lock what's oh, lock what's scale uh, move it down to more lock up scale and I'll just do it like this and scale it like this as this just squish to that you know because th that's science gamers and then lock lot scale now this should be animated so you see she fell uh how she fell i'm not going to animate it more because i'm lazy but you can see um in the intro and how good i animate um but you can see there's a lot of this which will be wasted but you could use like some of it if you have like an intro that will have like text on it in that part but i'm not so on the eleventh part, um, so my in, my animation and end uh, okay my animation ends at eleven. So all I have to do is type eleven in this because the eleventh frame, and then I will stop there. So as you can see, just I have it on loop currently, so you can see just drops. Uh, my FPS low. This uh, this is a quite of a high tech you know stuff. So now you have this. Uh, go to your output section. Now, um, the same. Oh, but by the way, if you're looking for ligaments and stuff, watch the photo part if you haven't, because this is actually how to like animate it with the body parts. Now, what, uh, before you start, you want to obviously change uh, stuff like that, but there will also be things that um, you know only apply to animation, which should be important. So you want to go to output. Now you could do other uh, the photos and animated, but what I uh, recommend doing is do the pictures. So go to movie and then do FM Tank video for it. Uh, keep it on RPG if you want it, except if you want it to be black and white. So I'm going to press the W, but I don't want it. Um, then you want to choose some like, and stuff. So I have this. Uh, video code actually. I want it to be uh, this. So here's my settings. I recommend using these. Um, yep. Yeah. So now render and then animation and then animation and then you know let it render. Um, I'll try render this. Uh, oh no. I'll try this for you, but um, you know what the animation looks like, like roughly, so it shouldn't be that bad. But, um, oh, by the way, I've got to say, uh, I have got to do as well. Um, you can animate that camera, and you, and I've got to move the camera and stuff. So, uh. Yeah, you can do that if you want. What you have to do is just move the camera around like a eye and then lock lock scale. Uh, but I think I'd be able to animate, the, you know, finish this off. But I'm gonna be back, uh, get some water because I'm boiling and I want water because water is good. Drink water, guys. Or milk. Both good.
Alright, so the next part of the video is pretty boring, gotta be honest. It's not anything special, but uh, the animation's finished, so here it is. And um, here's also the photo, because why not? Uh, that's pretty much it. All you need to do really know. And um, if you want to see some a weird part of the idea of the video, because I'm an absolute idiot, yeah, here it is. So cute. Very cute. Close. Bye eyes. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and um subscribe, like, you know, all that because um it really helps me a lot and it, it boosts my mood. It, it, YouTube is just the thing that motivates me to actually be alive in life. So thank you. And yeah, I'll catch you next one. See ya.